Do you know that you can find the inverse of a matrix easily with fx991 ex? Let me show you how. Go for the menu and go for matrices. Press equal and then choose matrix A number one and then choose two columns and two rows. Then you can enter the numbers on the matrix. Let's enter two equal four equal four equal one equal then the matrix is ready then you can press ac to clear the screen go for option choose matrix a number three and then choose the key which is x inverse which is x to the power minus one and then press equal and then you can get the inverse of the matrix you can move between the numbers to see each one as a fraction and you can do this for a matrix which is three by three and four by four with the same procedure do you know how to find the cross product between two vectors on Casio 991EX? Let me show you how. First of all, let's define the vectors. Go for menu and go for vectors on five, press equal and press number one, vector A, dimension three, and then we put the numbers. Let's say one equal two equal three equal. Let's go for option again, define a vector, another one. Let's put two vector B, select three, and then we put three equal two equal one equal and now the vectors are entered let's press ac go for option select vector a number three the cross product here is the multiplication so we press multiply and then option and then vector b which is number four and press equal and this is the cross product between those two vectors do you like it do you know how to find the unit vector with the same direction of a given vector let me tell you how First of all, let's go for menu, go for vectors, press equal, and now define a vector. Let's press one, vector A, its dimension, we select two, and now we enter the values. Let's say this vector with components two equal, four equal. Now we press AC, we clear the screen, and then we go for option, go down to get the unit vector. Number four, we press four, this is the unit vector. Unit vector of what? Let's press option. We choose vector A, number three, and we close the bracket and press equal. And this is the unit vector with the same direction of vector A. Do you like it? If you want to find the value of the function at specific values of x, all that you need is to type the function. Let me show you how. Go for shift abs, x minus two, go out, plus one, and then press calc, and give the values you need. Suppose that you are calculating f of one, so we'll put one equal equal, and then you get two. If you want it at another value, press back and press calc again, and put let's say five equal equal, and then you get four, and you can try any value you want. You can apply this to any type of function, either quadratic, logarithmic, exponential, or any type of functions. Do you like it? You can find the derivative of a function at a specific point with fx991 ex class width in one click. Let me show you how. Let's go for the derivative of a function. We press shift and we press this key. Then you get d by dx of a function. Let's type a function. Let's put a small function here, x squared, let's say, and we choose the specific value. Let's say at x equal to five and we press equal and that's the final answer. You can replace x squared by any function you want and get the value that you are looking for. To find the turning point of that function f of x equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6, we can do it by either ways, either by finding the x for the vertex by writing x equal to minus b over 2a, or we can find the first derivative of that function. But here in the Casio fx 991 ex classes, we can do it in another way. Let me show you how. We can go for the menu and we go for equations. and then choose polynomial, second, second degree, and write the coefficients of the function. We have one equal, five equal, six equal, and press equal one more time, it will give you the first x-intercept, which is minus two, the second x-intercept, which is minus three, and then press equal one more time, you get the x of the vertex, which is the turning point. Here we have it a minimum value. So the x of the minimum value is minus five over two and the y is minus one over four. Let me show you how do you find the definite integral using Casio 991EX class width. First of all, let's go for the integral sign. So press on integral, we put the function. You can type any function you want. Let's say x squared 
and then put the limits which is from let's say one to five that's five and put one the lower boundary and we press equal and then you get 124 over three remember that you can type any function you want in that area and you can get the value with one click do you know that you can change from dms to decimal degrees easily in fx 991 ex class with let me show you how suppose that you have an angle 25 degrees so we tap 25 and we press on the degrees 30 minutes press on the degrees again and you have 45 seconds press also on the degree and tap on equal sign and then press s to d it will give you the fraction s to d one more time it will give you the decimal degree which is 25.5125 also you can do the opposite suppose that we have 25.5125 let's write 25.5125 press degree and press equal it will give you the degree minutes and seconds status do you like it if you want to calculate the five number summary for a set of data using casio fx 991 ex class with let me show you how to do that first of all go for menu go for statistics number six choose one as one variable and put the data here let's say we have the numbers two equal three equal three equal five equal six equal and nine equal and then go for option select number three one variable calc and that's all the data you need we have x bar which is the mean you have seg max which is the standard deviation and you have a lot of things you can find it here q1 which is a quartile one median quartile three and the maximum the last one if you have the data given in a frequency table Follow me in the second video and I'll show you how to do that. Sometimes when you are working with probability questions, you need to calculate permutation or combination. To do that, let me show you how do you do that with FX991EX class width. If you want to calculate, let's say five permutation three, all what we need is to click on five, shift multiplication, you see the NPR, and then put three, then press equal, you will get the answer. If you need to find the combination, you put five, shift, divide and then put three and press equal you will get five combination three do you like it do you know that you can convert from rectangular coordinate to polar coordinate and vice versa in casio fx 991ex class with let me show you how first of all let's go for shift and the plus key you get the polar coordinates let's write the component let's say two comma shift comma three bracket and close the bracket you will get the r and the theta you can go right to see how much is the theta and also you can do the opposite how to do that press ac go for shift and press the minus key to get the rectangular coordinate of 2 comma and 60 close the bracket and press equal you will get the rectangular coordinates of that point also you can go right to see how much is the y and that's it do you like it Thanks for watching.